got rain now. Big time rain. That's not helping the situation at all. Fighting the rain and fighting the plow. Ready? Yep. This M here was going to be used today, but spark or fuel problem, that's what I'm told. Fighting the bottom over there that keeps tripping. Narrowed it down to a roller being stuck, a corner being gone, something. Probably something that would rip it pretty good before we could get it, just get it started, you know, we'd be all right. But how do we do that? That pipe wrench is just like a 1621. Yeah. Kind of like our hitches. I think I got my grade out there pretty good. Water's running away. I wanted it to. Can we have some more cleaner? <laughs> yeah. I know Jerry doesn't think he's good at it. He don't. <laughs> There's probably some level of concerncy in anything if you're set on fire. <laughs> well, I'm insured, so, you know, just don't let it get to the hay. Oh, yeah, once it gets there, we're screwed. Because <laughs> <laughs> when hay gets going, it ain't, there ain't no stopping. No, at that point, it's time to start your tractor, get out, and just kiss your bottom goodbye. Ha, ha, ha.
getting her all measured out so we can drop another line in and another furrow and start back up over here. It's a little wet down there. I think only the John Deere is going to be successful down there. Yep, he's right about mine. Got Marv laying her down now. Looks like he's spinning a lot. I tried using the H, but she just don't have enough uh, power to do her, or weight. There we go. We got the tire chain on. Cut it to trip. is a killer out here. The deer don't seem to be having any problems, but us farm moles out here, the smud's killing it. Big game of forward and backward.
here's here's the situation. That's a lot of water. And it goes out there about 10 yards, 20 yards, something like that. He might need holes. 